to another edition of exciting news stories from the power sector. This is Power Wheel, a production of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. I am Chinwenwa Anyao. Let's have a view of some stories that unfolded in the power sector in the power news segment. Barely a month after commissioning two power transformers in Abia State, the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has commissioned three other transformers at its stop stations in Calabar, Uyo, and Lagos to improve the delivery of bulk electricity for distribution to electricity users in over 35 towns in those states. Speaking during the commissioning of the 60 MVA power transformer at the Calabar Transmission Substation, the head of the civil service of the Federation, Mrs. Winifred Ekanem Oyoita, commended the TCN for the implementation of its transmission rehabilitation expansion plan and noted that the program will help in strengthening grid capacity and offering redundancy consistent with the N-1 system reliability criterion. It would provide the necessary operational flexibility and as such ensure stable and reliable power delivery to the distribution companies and other class of customers connected directly to the national grid. As part of the program, another milestone has been achieved here in this ancient city of Calabar, the capital city of our own Cross River State with the installation of additional 1 by 60 MVA transformer at the Calabar Transmission Substation. The capacity of the substation at 132-33 stroke kVA prior to this installation was 180 MVA. Therefore, with this installation, the capacity has been raised to 240 MVA. With the commissioning of the 1 by 60 MVA 132-33 kV transformers, she said the upgraded transmission station is expected to improve power supply for customers of the Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company across 10 key areas in the state. The communities listed below who are customers of the Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company are expected to experience remarkable improvement in power supply. These communities are the communities of Calabar Municipality, Calabar South, Odokpani, Abakasi, Ogoja, Ikom, Yakur, Itigiri, Ugep, Obudu, and its environs. With the commissioning of the 60 MVA 13233 kV electricity transformer at the Calabar Transmission Substation, the capacity has been upgraded from 180 MVA to 240 MVA. The head transmission service provider TSP of TCN, engineer Victor Adewumi, commended the head of service of the Federation, Winifred Ekanem Oyoeta, on behalf of the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, for accepting to commission the transformer and the 333 KV feeders. TCN is making history today with the commissioning of three number power transformers in one single day. Aside the commissioning of this CCMV power transformer in Calabar today, the governor of Aqua Imbo State will this afternoon be commissioning another city MVA power transformer in TCN substation in Uyo, while in Alimosho transmission substation Lagos, one number power transformer of a 100 MVA power capacity is being commissioned even as I speak. In the last one year, TCN engineers have installed several power transformers and other equipment using in-house capacity. Adeomi, who represented the managing director of TCN, Mr. Usman Gur Mohammed, said the company has assisted several contractors to complete many projects in the last one year. He noted that the innovations in problem solving has made contractors improve on their performance as he appreciated Mrs. MBH Power for the timely completion of the Calabar Substation Transformer project. This kind of innovation in problem solving will continue as TCN engineers 
we will conduct several one trip kV lines through in-house capacity before the end of the year. As a result of this new focus of TCA management, several contractors have employed have improved their performance. Engineer Dewumi also called for more investments in distribution system, just as it is being done in the transmission system. As we upgrade our network, there is need for our sister companies in the distribution to also make effort in their network expansion and rehabilitation. This is necessary to enable the nation to optimize its investment in generation and transmission. To the glory of God and in the service of humanity, it is my pleasure this morning to commission this 60 MVA 132-33 KV power transformer. To the glory of God and in the service of Nigeria, this 60 MVA 132-33 KV transformer was commissioned on 23rd of April 2018 with all humility by myself, the head of civil service of the Federation, Mrs. Winifred Ekane Moyoita. Thank you very much. In Uyo, Akwaibom State, the governor, Mr. Emmanuel Udom, who commissioned a brand new 60 MVA power transformer at Afaha Obey Transmission Substation in Uyo, lauded TCN for the giant leaps in improving bulk electricity in the state. Call on benefiting communities to protect the power installations so they can maximize the operations. I'm happy at the responses and the collaborations we've had so far. So my appreciation goes first of all to transmission company for what they've done and their quick response in terms of replacing the bond transformer and increasing the capacity there. Yeah. Mr. Odom, who also spoke on the role the state is playing in boosting electricity supply to the people, especially in investing and generating 118 MV from Ibom Power Station and providing distribution transformers for the people. This station now has 180 and particular electricity distribution i've been talking to them today i'm generating 115 at the bomb power so if we generate 115 80 should go around by bomb conveniently 24 7 80 megawatts then we can send the race to national grid which is also why we are constructing the substation at ekum let me also thank the transmission company again they are actually working with us at ekum in his remarks the head transmission service provider, Engineer Victor Adewumi, who spoke at the commissioning of the new 60 MVA transformer in Uyo, said the project was part of what TCN is doing to extend its networks and strengthen the existing substations nationwide to stabilize the grid and provide redundancy. As part of the program, another milestone has been achieved here today in the growing modern city of Uyo, the capital of Akwaimbo State with the commissioning of this additional 60 MVA transformer. The capacity of this substation prior to this installation was just 120 MVA. With the commission of this 60 MVA, it has now increased the capacity of this substation to 180 MVA capacity. And uh, it is now being commissioned here today by His Excellency, the Governor of Akwaibo State. He said the commissioning of the 60 MVA transformer will improve power supply for PHEDC customers in the state. With the commissioning of this transformer, communities including Uyo, Oron, Mbo, Ikotepene, Airport, Abak, SCN Udin, Mpat, Enin, Unan, and its environment will experience remarkably, uh, remarkable improvement in their power supply. With this development, TCN has not only established adequate transformer capacity to serve the area mentioned, but has also, also provided the necessary redundancy in line with the requirements of N-1 reliability criterion at this substation here. The General Manager, Transmission, Port Harcourt Region, Engineer Solomon Uyo Oko, commended the Governor and the traditional rulers at the event 
for the conducive environment they have provided for the operations of the TCN in the state. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for coming for this commissioning. Thank you, uh, the chief, Faube, and all of that for the conducive community that you have provided for us to operate here in this place. Thank you very much. We hereby commission this new 1 by 60 MV transformer in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. At the Alimo Show. 13233 KV transmission substation, TCN Managing Director Usman Gur Mohammed said that a 30 MVA transformer was replaced with a 100 MVA transformer. He noted that the substation has been upgraded to 230 MVA from the existing 160 MVA capacity. We are upgrading the substation here in uh, Alimosho from uh, what it used to be for. The substation used to be 160 MVA. Uh, we have replaced uh, one of the 30 MVA with uh, 100 MVA. So the capacity has been upgraded to uh, uh, 230 MVA. So that's why we have come to commission it on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Dababatunde uh, Raji Fashala. This will translate to improve uh, power supply to the resident of Ali Mosho and all the places that are taking the supply from this substation, Gowan Estate, Shagadi, and all of them. That's what it will translate uh, to improve in the power supply. But you see, we don't supply them directly. We supply uh, Ikeja Disco. So it's left for Ikeja Disco to take the supply and radiate additional feeders to feed their customers. So that's how it is. Mohammed said TCN has implemented the TREP which seeks to expand and strengthen grid infrastructure to enhance wheeling capacity in line with global best practices, adding that it will improve supply to customers of Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company in areas like Agege, Abulegba, Ichasha Command, Gowon Estate, Shagari Estate, among others. This transmission Rehabilitation and expansion program provide necessary operational flexibility and reliable power delivery to the disco distribution companies and other classes of customers that are connected directly to the national grid. As part of the program, another milestone has been achieved here at the mega city of Lagos with the replacement of 1 by 30 MVA with 1 by 100 MVA transformer at the Alimo Show transmission substation. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources, Lagos State, Badi Adibowale, who commissioned the transformer, said the project was historic as it will provide more power supply to residents of Lagos State. He also lauded TCM for the landmark achievements in upgrading transmission transformers nationwide, noting that it is supporting the state's plan to generate 3,000 megawatts of embedded power. The landmark achievements of the transmission company of Nigeria in upgrading transmission infrastructure and facilities have been veritable tools for the Lagos State Government in the realization of its embedded power program. The focus of which is the provision of 3,000 megawatts. Lagos State is on embarking on embedded power. We intend to supply 3,000 megawatts, 1,000 before the end of this year, and 2,000 in the next two years so that the Lagos State itself will provide I mean, producing light for the inhabitants of Lagos State and environs. So we're on that, and, then, and that I bring from uh, the able governor of Lagos State who has started on that. And with the cooperation of our brothers in the federal, the TCN, the disposals, and everybody, and the honorable, honorable um, uh, minister. So these developments are very appropriate as a suitable a response to the World Economic Forum announcement that Lagos State is the fastest growing city in the world. Okay, the 
Let's take a break for a short message. We'll be right back after that. In the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, we transmit bulk electricity from power generating companies, GENCOs, to distribution load centers of various distribution companies. This goes nationwide. We do not generate electricity, neither do we distribute same directly to electricity consumers. TCN has two business units, the Transmission Service Provider, TSP, and Independent System Operations, ISO. The ISO comprises of System Operation, SO, and Market Operation, MO. The business units all perform specialized functions under the TCN umbrella. Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, will empower for national economic growth. This message is brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. Welcome back from the break. The Power News segment continues shortly. Another milestone in the power sector has just been recorded as the Nigerian Senate recently confirmed the appointment of Professor James Momo as the chairman, Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, the regulator of the sector. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Power, Steel, Development and Metallurgy, Senator Aina Abaribe, who presented the report at the Senate session, said the committee has screened the candidate earlier based on his performance and documents presented. In consideration of his performance and documents presented during the screening, the committee finds the nominee qualified to hold the position as chairman of the governing board of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. The commission got the third set of commissioners in February 2016, but has operated without a chairman. Senate said the audit request was referred to the committee in October 11, 2016. Citing the committee's recommendation, Abari Bay said he found Momo to be qualified for the position and therefore presented the report to the Senate for adoption and confirmation of the candidate as a substantive chairman of any RC governing board. In view of the foregoing, the committee is of the view that the nominee is qualified to hold the position as chairman of the governing board of Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission under the Electric Power Sector Reform Act, the EPSA 2005, and hereby recommend him for consideration. Prayer that the Senate do consider the report of the committee and approve its recommendation. I so uh, report. The Deputy Senate President, Ike Ekwaremadu, who presided over Senate plenary, announced the Senate confirmation of the appointment of James Momo as chairman of NERC. With the confirmation, Professor Momo is expected to serve a five year term as provided by the Electricity Power Sector Reform Act 2005 law guiding the establishment of the NERC and the power sector operations. The Senate and the Committee of the Whole consider the report of the Committee on Power, State Development and Methodology on the screen of Mr. President nominee by appointment as the Chairman of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission NEC and approve the nomination of Professor James Momo as the Chairman of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Does, is this a true reflection of what inspired the Committee of the Whole? Yes. Thank you. Now confirmation. We decided to confirm the nomination of Professor James Momo for appointment as Chairman of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC. Do in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Again, congratulations to, the, to Professor James Momo. And uh, I think just like the Human Rights Commission, this is also critical because we need the uh, electricity, we need the energy for us to drive the development of this country. And uh, we need to have this necessary framework that will also uh, drive the regulation, the regulatory part of it, to ensure that we do the correct thing. And I'm happy to say that uh, we have an appropriate person to drive this regulatory part of the uh, development in the energy sector. So um, we hope that um, 
Professor Momo will also live up to the expectation of Mr. President, who appointed him in the first place from far away America, and those of his friends and families who believe that he can do this job. So once more, congratulations to Professor Momo on the Senate confirmation of his appointment today. To uplift human capacity in the power sector, Mainstream Energy Solutions Limited, operators of the Kainji and Jeba hydropower plants in Niger State, has trained 10 fresh engineers at the National Power Training Institute of Nigeria, NAPTIN. In a documentary of the NAPTIN Graduate Skills Development Program, the company, through its mainstream foundation, said the beneficiaries were selected from the communities hosting its two power plants in the state and that most of them are absorbed into the company upon graduation. Uh, we are the pioneer trainees are sponsored by mainstream. Right now, I believe that I know there are people following behind me and I know them. They are still from the same area, catchment area as I, as, as I am. And they are right now in Kenji studying as sponsored again by mainstream, uh, which is a laudable and very nice uh, program. NAPTIN was established in September 2009 to provide training for power sector personnel and coordinate training activities in the sector. With the headquarters in Abuja, NAPTIN has eight regional training centers where it trains engineers in skills needed by power companies in generation, transmission, distribution, and power communication technologies, amongst others. A plant engineer at Jeba Hydropower Plant, Ibrahim Bello, said during his NAPTIM training, he was immersed in power sector value chain comprising generation, transmission, and distribution. Bello said the skills he learned have helped him a lot in his job role. Honestly speaking, NAPTIM helped me a lot in knowing what its power sector is, more especially the hydro, the generation station, that is the hydropower. Umar Awal is a graduate of electrical and computer engineering from the Federal University of Technology, Mina. He said after his training, he was surprised that the firm called him for a job. He was selected and posted to Jeba Hydropower Plant. I went there after the interview, was selected to be one of engineers working in of the plant engineer employed and posted to Jeba Hydropower Plant. And from there, my career, uh, Mishima has really helped my career because it's one thing to graduate, to be a graduate of engineering, and one, another thing to work in an engineering company. For Babatunde James Uluwashi, a NAPTIM graduate working with the planning department at the Jeba plant, he said he got the sponsorship for the 2013-2014 session of the NGSDP and emerged as the overall best for the session in mechanical engineering and from the generation section of the training. I graduated as the best overall in the country in mechanical engineering and also in generation, um, um, in generation section of the training. The graduates lauded the company for giving them the opportunity to further their education and to serve in various capacities in manning the power plants. The Acting Director General of NAPTIN, Ahmed Bolaji Naogode, recently handled the training of over 100 staff of the Transmission Company of Nigeria on key technical and maintenance aspects at the Lagos and Kanji Regional Trading Centers. He had commended TCN and the West African Power Pool, WAP, for their roles in making NAPTIN a center of excellence in power sector training. The training program is being implemented in the batches that we have had. Purposely not to unsettle the smooth and scheduled operations of the utilities. And that's why we segmented it to, to make sure that it conforms you know, with the operations you know, of TCN and other discos when we're going to have in the disco training. The first batch of 106, which we have started this week, is of two trades, namely transformer and switchers maintenance, with 60 trainees. And this is taking place here in Lagos. Stay put as we bring to you more news in the Power Flash segment.
we urge you to stay put as we bring you sound bites. Our prayer now is that the distribution companies, notably the uh, power holding distribution company, the Potako Disco, should now invest more in their uh, distribution network because that is where the real problem lies. Do keep a date with us next week for another exciting and informative edition. Until then, please keep watching Powerwheel on our YouTube channel, and we hope you reach us through these platforms. I am Chiwenwa Anyao. Bye for now. Thank you.